you see that statement olivia made she was not lying mm -mm. she wasn't lying when she said ipeleng is a pretender she is a pretender ipeleng is ready to go under the duvet with luke ipeleng is go is ready to go under the duvet with anybody that is available ipeleng <laughs> that one that uh, uh, Juicy J is saying, oh, Ikpeleng is the kind of person that she will want, he will want, he want to marry. He, if he discover the game Ikpeleng is playing in that house, he will abandon Ikpeleng. He will run from Ikpeleng because Ikpeleng, ha, that girl, <laughs> she's doing too much. Guys, even the camera person, the South African, whether the cameraman is a South African, I don't know. Whether the camera, I don't think that cameraman is sky all day. Because when I find Nigerian people are doing that thing, they are go the cameraman will focus on them. But the, a whole lot, Italy, the, the, the South African housemates are doing a whole lot under the duvet. And this cameraman is not showing all of that to us. And it's annoying, very, very annoying. <laughs> that we are going to talk. You see that small boy, Katabang, <laughs> Abita Bang, what it be her name? What it be name? See, Tabang is kissing Nelisa. Kabang and Nelisa are doing this. What are you doing? Hi, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? This is Messi Bella on your screen. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and anytime I upload a new video, you will get notification. Guys, <laughs> the Big Brother Titan is still going on and a whole lot is happening and I am here to break it down with you guys. See Ikpeleng, <laughs> Ikpeleng and Ikpeleng. That girl is... Is doing like it's something's happening on that that way. Ikpelen and Luke, you guys know that Luke sh di, showed uh, interest on Ikpelen, and Juicy J showed interest on Ikpelen, and Yemi showed interest on Ikpelen. So all these people are on Ikpelen. So finally, Ikpelen has choose um, Luke to be going under the duvet with. I think she's the one that said, oh, she don't want to do, have anything to do with Nigerian people, the, the Nigerian housemates. Now she has chosen her, her fellow country housemate and she's now doing everything, doing wifely duty. According to the gossip gang, you see, eh, people are blaming this gossip gang. People are insulting this gossip gang. You see this gossip gang, gang they are the one that is always bringing the gist <laughs> when it's time to talk when it's time to do if you want to know the cocoa something that is happening in that house those gossip gangs they are going to be bringing it out hey so these gossip gangs sit pretty talking <laughs> start describing things that are happening in the house start analyzing things that are happening that are happening in the house and i was shook to my bone so this gossip gang said in the shower, Ikpeleng was showering naked. Do you understand? In naked. So Ikpeleng was showering and uh, Luke was coming naked. Both of them are naked. <laughs> okay. So, and Ikpeleng was, um, both of them, mm, like, small gold. I didn't, they did not say they had, they, they did it too. They did not say it. <laughs> they said they just smuggle and do everything. And Ikpeleng was, um, helping Luke to clean, wash clothes and all that. And according to the gossip gang, they say the kind of person Luke is, is that Luke is that kind of person that is, will be very, very commanding, that will be wanting loyalty, um, cleaning the house, doing everything from a woman. Like, she, the Luke is not that gentle, gentle kind of person. Luke is that person that will command their woman to, 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 to loyalty, to submission and everything. And Ikpeleg is a perfect picture to that. <laughs> I say Ikpeleg, my sister, you don't hate that. <laughs> Guys, it's a whole lot of gist that is happening in the house. And uh, see, Ikpeleg is always making a... Um, do, behaving like she doesn't she know the f see the pe first person to f in that house it could be Belen. so um olivia actually talk and say ah that girl is a pretender that girl, it look, it, she's a big pretender 
and I agree with her with my full chest. I agree that Ipelen is a pretender. Moving on, guys, Tang and Nelisa have now become a couple. See, I don't know any of them who make a move to each other, but both of them now <laughs> they are either they are struggling or they are. Either they are uh, smuggling, or they are smooshing, or they are having conversation. They are always around each other. So I, <sighs> it was a whole lot. So um, Tank and Inelisa are doing things. Very soon they will go under the duvet again. They know they see under this duvet where do they go? And it, they need to fix camera under the duvet so that we go to see what they happen. Moving on to these people mm -hmm. i want to talk about juicy j yes juicy j you see juicy j you see nigerian people and south african people they are dragging yemi they are saying yemi is a pretender yemi is this yemi is a player yemi is playing a dangerous game why will you be playing a dangerous game playing a dangerous game is bad blah 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 are they seeing are they seeing luke I they see Luke. Luke is playing the dangerous game. Luke is always on the dangerous side. Luke is leading two friends on two. And Ikbelen too. Ikbelen is still in the picture. Hmm. Luke is all over Olivia. Luke is all over Yvonne. According to her, you understand Naivon she they go with for and Jenny O oh, only Luke. See this picture is the real definition of Luke. How Luke is all uh, which Luke? Um Juicy J. Juicy J is the one that is playing the real strategy in this house. <laughs> the real strategy in this house. See. You see this gossip gang, sometimes they, they get condescending, but sometimes they, they give the real gist, and then they give the real, the real and spicy, the how it they hold, and then they bring and come. So, uh, make could I leave our gossip gang. But, guys, yesterday, Yvonne, um, Olivia did something strange, something bad, like the way she really presented the Nigerian Girls Association with the Nigerian Girls Association, <laughs> how she really presented the Nigerian people wasn't appealing at all. I didn't like it. So, um, Big Brother <coughs> told the housemates uh, before the nomination to go and deliberate who they are going to nominate and they were nominated they were deliberating so that is where olivia commanded the black boy you know black boy is the head of house commanded black boy to go and call the whole housemate as if the big brother they talk me me oh even black boy not if you tell and say ah you cannot do this now this is not the time no olivia called black boy went ahead and called everybody and then sat down to listen to Almighty Olivia, she started ranting. She started talking. <laughs> she started calivanting. She started. She, she, oh my God! She started saying that oh, uh, they are not giving content in the house. They are not giving content in the house. They, they start good in giving content. The house is boring. The housemates are not giving. Their housemates are this. The housemates are that. And I'm like, what is going on with this girl? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. They are not giving content. What are you giving? What are you bringing to this table of this big brother titan? Why didn't you come out and bring a prank? You guys remember a big brother in Zamzi, Terry and Tato. I think Terry, Tato, and um, Mpoa Badimo. They made a very big prank on the guys. And it was so tough. Why didn't you guys do hide and seek prank um the head of, just just do something stop expecting people to come and do it for you like no it's not it's no longer necessary so the way she was ranting and saying nasty things that oh the south african housemates are not trying they are always sleeping and i'm like you guys are always sleeping too you and genio are the ceos of the sleepers association of the big brother titan house so who are you trying to blame why are you trying to put blame on other housemates 
the way you are guilty of the same thing you are guilty of that thing and you are trying so hard to put blame on people it's very bad it's very very bad it's not good at all so uh, after she caught the meeting even the miracle op was saying no it, 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 olivia that is not how to talk that is not how to say it's not okay like that blah 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 and i really like how miracle said so um the next person to speak again was uh, meli meli was saying oh you have you don't need to be um generalizing that all oh, south africans are not giving content south africans are not giving content if anybody do anything bad in that house why can't you just call the person out tell the person oh you are the person that is beauty of this thing don't start generalizing as if everybody is in that space in, in that insult that you are giving everybody that everybody is uh, like you just call the person out just say it say it with your full chest don't nobody is going to beat you nobody is going to drag you nobody is going to do anything bad so just say it i i, I did i didn't like it at all and Later on, she did not accept that much. Even she went as far as saying that Big Brother is punishing them with task. Hey God, Olivia. Big Brother is punishing you with task? How? It's normally anybody that watches Big Brother Niger, Big Brother Africa, Big Brother anywhere, you know that task is a must in the house. So why are you talking as if you are dumb? Why are you talking as if you haven't watched Big Brother before? Why are you talking as if you haven't you you don't have an experience big brother so you are supposed to be there big brother will be feeding you you are not doing any task you are not doing anything ha it's, it's not punishment it's normal everybody that goes to big brother has did you watch the shine your eye season then it was task upon task upon task upon task so don't complain that big brother is giving you task to it see if if um if Olivia want to give content, let her go ahead and give content without being condescending to the level uh, to the um, South African housemates. Even Jenny, oh that was seven. You got big body, no guesses. I beg, guys. You know this thing I have said in this video. What do you guys think? What do you guys feel? Just put your opinion in in the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.